Hi, in this video, you will learn how to create this endless road animation. Now, the idea is not so much to teach just this animation, but the concept behind this endless continuous animation in PowerPoint. So you can take the same idea and create your own variations. For example, with this same basic idea, you can create something else like this. Can you see this is a continuous flight animation where a flight is moving through the clouds and you can see that this flight is sometimes below the clouds, sometimes above the clouds. It is absolutely possible for you to come up with your own variations once you understand the basic trick behind creating this kind of continuous animations. Let us jump right in. I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates to help you make presentations that are beautiful and engaging. As always, we start from scratch. First, let us learn how to create that endless road animation. The first thing I'm going to do is to right click, go to format background and change the format background to uh, something like this. Then. I'm going to zoom out a little bit by going to this bar here and say zoom out. This will allow us to draw outside the slide area. Now, first let us draw the road divider by using this simple rectangular shape and I'm going to place it like this. This is the width of the road divider. Let us go to shape fill, convert this into a white color, go to shape outline, remove outline. Let us press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place this right next to the previous one. That is good enough. And let us press Ctrl D again, 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 again for as many instances of this road divider. Now let us select everything and just for good order's sake, let us have everything aligned properly. So let me go to align middle and distribute horizontally. Now that looks good. Let us press Ctrl G to create a group and I'm going to keep this out of the slide area. That is the reason why I zoomed out. This is the slide area and this is the area where we park our assets. Now I'm going to apply animation to this one. So let us go to animations. Let us keep the animation pane open so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to apply a simple exit animation called as fly out animation. And you can see it here by default. The direction is to the down. Let us go to effect options and say to left. And that is how it goes away. And you can see that the duration is very little and that is the reason why it is moving on so fast. So let us change this duration to say 8 seconds which is a little more deliberate and slow and let us have this start with previous. Then let us make a duplicate of this. Let us press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and I'm going to place this right on top of the previous one. Ensure that both of these are properly aligned. Now the second animation event which comes because of duplicating the first one needs to happen with a delay. How much of a delay? It needs to be exactly of half the duration. In this case, you can see the duration is eight seconds. So we are going to have this delay for four seconds. And we are going to ensure that both of these animation events are selected and go to effect options and we repeat until end of slide. So let us go to repeat and say until end of slide and you say OK. Now, this is all that you need to do for a continuous animation. When I go to slideshow, you will notice that this is our road divider. And as one finishes, the other one starts. And this continuously keeps repeating over and over. And this will never end. And this is a very useful way to create motion graphic animations where you want to talk about, say, a road map or something where a road is required. So let me hit escape. Now, let us say I want to make this a little more real for people. I can add some cars. So let us go to our favorite site, which is our pixabay.com. I'm going to search for a vector image and let us have cars top view. There are quite a few of them. You can choose anything that you want. I'm going to choose this blue one. You can go to download and download whichever version you want. If you want PNG, it is good enough. I can go to download and the image is downloaded. I can place it on my slide like this and I can adjust the size like so. It has to be meaningful so the divider and the car have proper proportions. Now let us flip this horizontally. Now this needs to keep moving from the opposite direction. And if I want to have a continuous number of cars coming, then I can download another variation of this car. Once again from Pixabay, I chose this other yellow car and I'm going to keep this somewhere over here, which is away from the scene. I'm going to make sure that they both are matching 
and let us keep this somewhere over here now they both look pretty similar you can see that now i have not kept one on top of the other i have given a little bit of space between the two and that is to ensure that there is an organic feel to it because the cars will move at different pace and you will see how it is let us select both of these cars and apply the same kind of animation let us go to animations and we are going to have fly out animation and this time the fly out needs to happen to the right and so let us go to effect options and say to the right because they are moving in this direction and we are going to have the same 8 seconds or maybe this time let us try and with 10 seconds duration and this again needs to be in line with our earlier animation so the first one which starts with previous can be together so you can see that the earlier animation of the first one and this one are kept simultaneously and we are going to say with previous and the one with delay needs to be clubbed with the other one with delay if you see the two animations are ordered like this the second one needs to have a delay of exactly half the duration so we are going to have this as five seconds for both the pictures we are going to have a continuous loop so let us go to effect options and say timing and let us have this as repeat until end of slide and say ok now let us go to slideshow and see the magic that we have created we have the scene unfold in front of us continuous road there is a car that is going and right behind it we have another car and then the looped animation kicks in and we have the blue car coming in and after a bit of a distance we have our yellow car coming in now if you observe closely the base of any of these continuous animations is exactly the same we have two elements with the same duration the second one has a delay which is a duration which is half that of the actual animation just to prove this point i'm going to show you a different kind of animation let us create the sky let us go to format background and let us keep this say somewhere like this blue i'm going to pick up some clouds from pixabay.com you can of course choose any kind of cloud here i'm going to say cloud and this is going to be a vector as well i just like this one so let me click on this let us go to download download here is the cloud i'm going to apply animation to this let us go to animations and let us have a fly out animation and this is going to be to left and we are going to have this happen slowly say eight seconds and this happens with previous and we are going to have this loop endlessly let us go to effect options say timing and say repeat until end of slide and say ok now i am going to make some more copies of this by pressing ctrl d and i am going to keep it a little away from the first one and make another copy of this and place it somewhere over here and now we have the first set of clouds available now we are going to create the clouds of the second set with a delay of four seconds so they keep continuously looping so let us create a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl d and let us uh, change the location of this let us zoom out a little bit further and keep them somewhere randomly like this and let us have these with a duration of four seconds and hit enter and we are going to have them repeat endlessly so when you go to effect options you will notice that this is already included because i have done that with the first animation itself now when we go to slideshow you will notice that the clouds are coming in creating the illusion that we are moving through the clouds and the first set of clouds are finished and we have the second set of clouds and then the more clouds are coming in so it's a very interesting one and to accentuate this i'm going to insert the picture of an airplane that i got from pixabay.com and this airplane doesn't need to have any animation when I go to slideshow you will notice even though the airplane is in one place because of the movement of the clouds you can see that it gives the illusion that the flight is uh, moving forward so that is the beauty of this technique now if I want to create that variation where some clouds are in the front and the ones are somewhere in the back I just need to click on some random clouds and say uh, bring it to front and maybe I can say this one we can have bring to front and this one we can do the same thing and now when i go to slideshow you will notice that certain clouds are behind and certain clouds are in the front so that creates an even more very interesting look and feel for this animation now six years ago i created a video showing how to create continuous scrolling text effect in powerpoint once again this follows the exact same idea 
you can click on the link in the description below and watch that video. And there is another tutorial that I created fairly recently around 11 months ago that shows you how to create PowerPoint motion graphics and how to tell a story, the story of going to the moon. And once again, this also uses the exact same technique. Now, while animations can create a lot of impact on your audience, we totally understand that it also takes a lot of time and skill to create those. If you don't have the time and you want to still impress the audience with animations, then we have the right solution called Comprehensive All-in-One PowerPoint Bundle, which has more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you make your presentations beautiful and engaging. The link to this product is in the description box below the video. Take a look at this page and look at some of the samples that we have and understand how you can use animation to tell your story and impress your audience. If you want to watch another PowerPoint animation tutorial that we created, you can click on the link that you see right now and watch that video next. If you want to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, you can click on the link that you see here on the screen or in the description box below the video. So go ahead, click on the link, join our five day free email course and I will see you inside there.